You've heard of ghosting, right? When people just disappear. But now there's a new buzzword in the dating world, oystering, for when newly single people realize the world is their oyster. Here's a look at how to handle romance on The Half Show. One way to weather a bad breakup is with a tub of ice cream and a sappy rom-com. The healthier alternative is called oystering. People find themselves single and dating again. They see the world as their oyster, meaning that they can do what they want. Laura Bilotta, dating expert and founder of Single in the City, a Toronto-based dating service, fills us in on how to turn oystering into a winning strategy. Starting with taking time to reflect. You really want to reflect on the experiences with all your exes, and you want to jot those experiences down. What can you learn from that? What can you take from that? What worked in those past relationships? What didn't work in those past relationships? It might be tempting to jump back on the dating horse immediately after a breakup, but that might do more harm than good. If you're not working through those feelings, if you're not working through those issues, then you're going to carry that baggage over into the next relationship. This time of reflection will help you spot red flags and make better choices when you do begin to date again. Until then, spend time on our next tip, do what makes you happy. Do all the things that you couldn't do when you were in a relationship. Maybe it means spending more time with friends, more time with family, exploring new hobbies, exploring new interests. Maybe that means traveling more, enjoying your own company. This is the time to fall in love with yourself and live your best life. You want to get back to this place where you're happy, you're positive, because when you are happy and positive, you're going to attract more more of that into your life. Like attracts like, and when you're your best self, you're ready to seize the dating day. And this time around, you're gonna do things differently, and you're gonna be so much more intentional with what you want when you're out there in the dating world. And have fun with dating. You're not gonna make it like a full-time job, and it doesn't have to be that serious. She says, explore your options. Maybe they don't check all the boxes, but just giving them that chance because you never know. Like I always encourage people to date outside of their comfort zone, that their type may have changed. Looking at life through a new lens by Oystering.